Wyatt, if you watch this, I hope you watch this. Your girlfriend, Kate, has texted me and told me about how you always watch my videos together. And for your second anniversary, which is on the 10th, I will play, I don't want to say your favorite build because I don't know what your favorite build is, but I will play a build in your honor. Kate has told me that you really like uh, Lethality with Sanguine Blade. I see you're, a, you're a, a good citizen and play Bloodthirster in your ranked games with my recommended dream page. But yeah, you play some lethality in normals, and she told me that you like lethality and that you liked the Sanguine lethality build. But Sanguine Blade got removed. However, I have a build for you that you can use. It should be very good in uh, like silver elo, like the lower elo brackets. And silver elo lifesteal is really, really good. So I have a build for you which kind of mimics the Sanguine Blade playstyle while being very safe and still a very effective build. It is viable, it's not the best build, but it is viable, so feel free to play it, and um, yeah, you will see it right now. <laughs> Let's get our minions. Nice, got all three of them. Anyway, hello fellow misfortunates over on YouTube, and if you're watching on YouTube, it should be the 10th of July. And... Therefore, I say happy anniversary, happy second anniversary to Wyatt and Kate. This is just for you. I'm playing the mental successor of the Sangune build. Because, you know, Wyatt enjoys crit misfortune in ranked, but also enjoys... Oh, this Lulu. But also enjoys lethality, and especially the old Sangune blade. At least that's, what's his, what's, uh, that's what his girlfriend, Kate, wrote me. So yeah, this build is hopefully to your liking. But first of all, we need to endure this ugly lane phase. Ugh. Give me that potion. I also didn't take my magic resist charge because I didn't pay attention. But even had I paid attention, maybe I wouldn't have changed it because I could have assumed an Irelia AD carry. Yeah, this is just... Zyra zones us. Soraka zones us. The wave's coming. So we actually don't need to walk up. We can just farm on the tower, I hope. I think. I guess. Soraka in the farming position. Master is coming. Oh, this is a bad gank because the wave is so big. Please don't. Okay. Yo, they're actually just dead. Now they're overextended. Nice. And we don't even die. Okay, that was very good. Yeah, typically you don't want to fight in a big wave because the wave just aggros you, but in this case the wave was under tower. Which means, um... First of all, it's getting cleared. And secondly, it's, uh, it's not fighting us, it's fighting the tower. Because it's far farther away. Uh, can you dare to push this? It's a cannon wave, so probably not. I'll still push it, just for you. Just for you, Kate. And Wyatt. And now we need to leave. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to deal with that Soraka here. Just walk all the way back and go base. Alright. <clears throat> anyway, now this lane... I mean, it was quite annoying because double poke mage, but now it should be way easier because not only do we get the vamp scepter to refill our health but we also get the boots to dodge the skill shots so we're all fine actually this wave um it should push hard enough to go yeah it's just under tower okay so it resets it's a little bit awkward the teleport stopped us from pushing so now we're in this situation but it's still manageable we're only like one wave behind in terms of farm and they cleared it, so it resets. Yeah, it's all good. Okay. Just last hit and the wave will push no matter what they do. I'm fine taking that poke. Actually, no, that's too much. That's too much poke. No, I'm not fine taking that. Guess I also need, yeah, Gragas is here. I 
I definitely also need healing reduction against Soraka. Okay, nasty gank. I need to recall. If I stay, I... I'm very lucky to die. Yeah, this lane, I mean, this lane isn't pretty. But we need to play towards our win conditions. And again, in the early game, they need to stomp us or else they just lose by default. If they don't win early, they won't win at all. Because Lulu plus Yi plus Cassidy is just too much. Late game hyper carries left and right. Actually, let's join the fun. Or not. We're losing a huge wave on the tower. Situation is over, so there's no way not farming is uh, incorrect. No, there's no way not farming is <laughs> Triple negation, I don't even know what I said. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, we definitely need to farm there. Get our golden experience. Unlucky we couldn't buy anything on that base, but we desperately needed our health back. Okay. Come on, give me that cannon minion. I need that cannon minion just as badly as Wyatt and Kate need each other. <laughs> All right, let's, 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 uh, yeah. Dodge these, poke that, die to the Gragas, yeah. I checkmated it myself, nothing I can do here. Unlucky. As soon as I saw the Predator, it, I knew I was dead. Well, happens. We need to be more careful. Again, we need to we need to not play towards... I don't want to make this game unexciting. So I want to fight, I want to trade, I want to be proactive, but... This is still a diamond promo of this account. I should also just play it correctly and just play it for the win con. Which is late game. So I mean, we can relax in the early game. Can chill out, just like uh, White and Kate chilled together during quarantine, had each other's backs. Okay, we bait out the ulti. Oh no, this Gragas is putting in work. But yeah, they have so much disengage. We just we just need to farm. Just get as much gold as we can and then after the lane phase is over, <clears throat> we can start doing more stuff. Okay, get this. Are they basing? What are they doing? If they're basing right now, then they're giving us a huge advantage here. The melee's walked out. Unlucky. Anyway, the ult is still good. Still gets the wave under tower. Is Gragas here? Oh, she's really wanting to pull this. Sure. Die. Yeah, this is a dive. We have four people here. There's no way we can't dive them. We need to kill the wave. For this to work. Yeah, Cassin has to help. I have no mana. They have a lot of disengage though. Okay. That didn't work at all. Yep, 
Yep, didn't work. Uh, unlucky. Wait. Just as I say it. Okay. Messy, but ultimately we got what we wanted. Yeah, not even close. Uh, calculated. <laughs> well, we can buy components now. And we're still even. It's 9 to 9. Which means uh, they are not accomplishing their win condition of heart stomping us early game. And if they fail to do that, they will lose. We got this. Okay. Right, he gets away. I collect the wave. Yeah, it's nice. Their team composition is so weird, though. Why would you put Soraka in a farming position vault lane? What does this accomplish? Not much if you ask me. Second Drake for them though. I guess even if they get soul, they probably still won't outscale us. Ever. Which is that much stronger late game. They don't even have an AD carry. What are they gonna do? Nothing. I can go for a quick base to get my first item. I wouldn't mind. The wave's pushing towards me, slowly but surely. So by doing this, we're also, um, well, reducing the risk of getting caught while farming to zero. Because we're not there. Okay, they sneak behind. <clears throat> by the time they realize we're not there and start fast pushing, and not a single minion has died yet. But by the time they realize we're already back in lane again, so who cares? Okay, that hurts a little bit. But they overextended, they're dead. Look at them. Okay. It's actually scary. Works. Still a two for one. Good for us. Okay, two for two. Uh, still good for us, because two for two is going even, which means we go late game, which means they are not accomplishing their goal. <laughs> they need to stomp us early. If they don't, they lose. Simple. Sure, Aurelia. She's level 11, she has armor. Yeah, I can't deal with her. Can she deal with me though? No, she can't. Okay. We're kiting her too effectively. I'm still afraid of her. She might hide and try to kill me. Okay, we see. And she knows that I know, so she exits the bush. Okay, I didn't expect that much burst, but I guess getting clipped by that stun is a death sentence. Oof, unlucky. But yeah, now we have boots upgrade. This shouldn't happen again. Also, we just took that risk so unnecessarily. Oh no, Master Yee, please. Looks like we're fine, though. They can't dive us. There's no way. 
Mastery doesn't have lifesteal. Hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd really like this lane phase to end because, um, I mean, you see, it's just just annoying. We want a team fight. Team fights, we win. Lane phase, we get a little bit bullied. Oh, this is big. Speaking of team fights. Cut off the Aurelia. I need Grievous Wounds. Next item, definitely Executioner's Calling. Soraka even got Moonstone. But yeah, that fight was very good. They're still low. We can pressure them. Hmm. Top lane tower is not looking crisp, however. We're still fine. It's alright. They need to base here, which means we get to push away for free. Gives us free gold, free experience. While deleting resources under that tower. As the tower just kills the minions. This dude's scary. 5-0. Yeah, uh, okay, we shouldn't mess with him. Uh... Okay, now we can somewhat fight. But still not really, we need to be super careful. Losing health against Gragas when Dragon's on the line, not the play. Almost. Need to be careful. If we get flanked, we die because no HP. Hold here in 10 seconds. Yo, Mastery is going in, which means we're all going in. Uh, okay, I take it. I take that, definitely. They greeted for my kill, but we now clean up. I got good damage off, I got my exhaust on, I on uh, Irelia, yeah, we aced them. Nice, perfect. So our role this team fight was to be bait. So we just accept that and th do the best for our team. I mean, I'm, I'm a team player, I'm playing, I'm playing to support my team. <laughs> just like Wyatt and Kate always support each other. You know. Uh, something tells me I'm enjoying this a little bit too much. <laughs> anyway, let's try and maximize farm. Actually, should we even maximize farm this game? Because Yi and Cassidy are such huge late game hyper carries that giving the farm to them is also definitely viable. But we don't want to be irrelevant for sure. So yeah, we need to we need to keep our CS number. At a decent level. I will save red buff for you though, because he is just way too strong. Okay, if Cassidy wants the wolves, I'll give it to, the, to him. Yeah, it's what I was thinking. If Cassidy wants that resource, sure. Yeah, there she is. Okay. Let's be careful. Coming over. Oh no. Yeah, that blast cone killed me. Um, thanks, team. <laughs> Didn't want to live anyway. <laughs> That's all right. It's an it's an honest mistake. It can happen. Popping the blast cone too early, killing your teammate in the process. I mean, it happens. It happens occasionally. Oh no. Right now we're not in the in the late game yet, so Cassid and Yi are still beatable. Please be careful. Be careful, my friends. 1.2k damage from Blade. That's actually legit. 
I, I'm always um, impressed with this item's damage output. I asked for lane phase to be over and for constant team fighting, and I, I think I got my wish. <laughs> Okay, they're not trying to ambush us. We see Gragas. Yeah, let's finally take the mid tower. It's a big disadvantage to have uh, no mid tower while the enemy still have theirs. But now we opened up the map. Yeah, nice. And we're actually ahead. And we're just at 20 minutes into the game. This looks very promising. I'll just work Baron preemptively, because why not? With Master Yi, Lulu, uh, Master Yi Lulu, we can take it quite early. Yeah, be careful. Gragas is there. Okay. That was a waste of a control work then. Once more, we save Red Buff for Master Yi because we can use it way better. Okay, that's promising. Master Yi can clean up here. I'm fairly sure. I still have exhaust. Nice. Good job. Yeah, this could be barren for us with Yi. But at the same time, we don't need to force anything. Oh, bother. Okay. Why right does I say we don't need to force anything? Because we scale, he just instantly goes to eat. <laughs> he trades one for two, so it's still in our favor. Don't get me wrong, but still, it's an unnecessary risk we don't need to take. And it's not the best look ever. Alright, Dragon spawns in 30. I could just go base still. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite fast. I'm, I think I'll be there in time, especially because we shouldn't be starting it in the first place when Yi is not there. Oof. That game feels quite hard up to this point, but again, it will get easier and easier the longer this goes. As soon as Cassidy has level 16, that's pretty much where we auto win. He is on his way. Okay. Th then let's not attack the ward, sure. We have Cho'Gath to secure it, so we should be fine. Nice, good. Oh no, Kassadin lost against Aurelia. Okay, that's bad. I thought Kassadin had this and I could just ult, but then he dies and Aurelia runs me down. Unlucky. Yet we still, I mean, we still play towards a win condition. Kassadin comes live a little bit later because he has many kills and Lulu support. So he will start winning eventually, but right now Master Yi is just carrying us so hard. We take Inhibitor here and then we recall, take Baron. Yeah. Should be nice. Oof. Again. This is a perfect example where you can already see on the team comp. Okay. You don't need to be the MVP this game, you just need to do your job, you need to do it well enough. Your job is to pre prevent the enemy win condition from happening. Which is, get stomped in the early game by a cheese bot lane. Didn't happen. So now Yi and Cassidy are taking over. Oh, and Aurelia is eyeing me down. I'm, I'm better going to the back.
I'm flashing over. If I get knocked up here, chances are I die. Okay, nice. I just slowed forever by all the Zyra disengaged, but yeah, this worked. We're now approaching the stage, uh, the point in the game where Lulu Yi just tear them down. <laughs> Master Yi Lulu, name a more iconic duo. Wait, you can. Kate and Wyatt. <laughs> Who else? Anyway. I think this should be game. We can finish here, can't we? Again, not the MVP, but we also didn't need to be. Team comp meant we win late if you just don't int early. So yeah, uh, we played this game as we were supposed to. Uh, got a nice and easy win, I take it. <laughs> I didn't get to show the full glory of this build. Maybe I'll try this another time. Um, but yeah, if, if you're watching, I mean, uh, Wyatt here is certainly watching. Uh, if you like the Sangyun build, then just Blade into Eclipse, into Stormraiser, or, uh, I mean, a Motor Reminder if you need it, and then uh, Lord Dom's Infinity Edge. Yeah, it should do the trick quite well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. But if you want to see the best misfortune builds, click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.